look at this people and all of you guys out there i've got to thank i have got to thank so welcome all about that is back for another video and i just want to say a massive 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 thank you to you guys out there because well if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be at 100 subs so thank you so much as i've said i kind of want to do this naturally you know and if you um are liking this channel then you have obviously subscribed so thank you so much i know i am doing a giveaway for this to say thank you but i do hope the vast majority of you are subscribing because you like what I'm doing and uh, you've subscribed because of that, basically. So, <clears throat> yes, we're at 100 subs. So I can now officially give you guys, one of you out there is going to get these two things and a few stickers thrown in at random. So the London business card, store business card and these cuffs keyring will be going to one of you guys so in order to get this in order to be in with a chance to win all you've got to do is three things and I'm going to run this for two weeks to give people who have you know a chance to, to uh, enter so all you've got to do number one is like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Number two, I want you to repost this video on your Instagram. Repost it, um, tag me in it, at Lady Preem, and, and then I can see you've done it. So once you've done those two, comment down below on this video. Comment down below your um, Instagram so I can then note you down on a list. So with that, just write a few words of what you would like to see more of on this channel. That's the three things, dead simple. Just make sure you do uh, all those three things because I will be checking. I will check. Um, and then in two weeks time, which will be the 9th of April, I am going to draw the winner live on Instagram like I did last time on the sticker giveaway on random.org so it's all very fair yes that's it three things and then you could win those cuff key rings and the business card again i can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and all the wonderful really 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 positive comments have just honestly i cannot emphasize enough how much it means to me so thank you thank you thank you so yeah, moving on. I thought as today is drop, not drop day, what am I talking about? It's not drop day. Today is Monday, you will see this tomorrow, but today Supreme have um, released a new collaboration. Now, I just thought I'd run through it and tell you what I think because it's not gone down well so far. I'm going to run through this with you. And I'm going to put the images on the screen as I speak. Let me know in the comments what you think as well. So when you comment your Instagram, you could also comment what you think uh, of this collaboration. So yeah, comment what you want to see more of and comment what you think of this collaboration because it is rather controversial. Um, so it is Nan Golden and Supreme who have collaborated. <clears throat> um, and she, Nan Golden, was an American photographer. I'll run through this quickly. Uh, left home at 14 to join a hippie commune in Massachusetts. Uh, she became the school's photographer while she was there, developing her interest in creating a rec record of life and shared moments. This inspired her intimate and raw documentation of her friends and lovers and would become the core of her work. 
Now, as you know, I am quite arty, so I am interested. I think it's a very, um, it's very subjective, and art is all about really what you what you make of it, and you're all entitled to your own opinion. So this is my opinion of this. Okay, so comment your opinions. This is just mine. I'm no, you know, I'm no uh, bible of art. So let's just. Let's just chill with it, okay? <clears throat> so anyway, back to this. So, in the late 1970s, Golden began presenting the slideshows of her photographs in uh, New York nightclubs. These slideshows became her magnum of opus, magnum of opus, her magnum opus, the, ba- uh, the ballad of sexual dependency, who were misses. Uh, her work explored the var- varieties of human sexuality and gender while documenting the life, love and loss in New York City during the AIDS epidemic. Now, obviously, yes, in the 70s, there was a big AIDS epidemic. In her first book, it was based on sexual dependency. She said, it's the diary I let people read. Golden currently lives between New York and Berlin, where she addresses the current opioid epidemic and continues to make slideshows and paints now so obviously supreme have worked on a a collection featuring nan golden's photographs the collection consists of coats jackets hoodies sweatshirts decks blah 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 and we're gonna have a look at these now now i i'm gonna be honest and say I'm not a fan. It's not my cup of tea, really. Um, so one of the first pieces, come on, let's work. <clears throat> it's a coach's jacket. Um, no, it's not, I'm lying to you. It is a deck, okay, so the deck. It's obviously got uh, a couple here, Misty and Jimmy Paulette. So these are obviously transvestites I presume um, either transvestites or transsexuals I cannot confirm either or it's just a guess not my cup of tea so there's two decks I think two different decks and here are the decks on the screen uh, yeah it's not really my thing you know and by all accounts it's uh, not many people's thing so, I do like it when they do collaborate with different artists, but as I've said, it's all very uh, subjective. You either like it or you don't. Um, there are some artists that I have loved. Um, I did like the Dash Snow stuff from a couple of seasons back, but this isn't my thing. So the next thing is a coach's jacket. So it's got the image of the two uh, gals, girls, on in the uh, cab. Again, I will show you on the screen. Misty and Jimmy. <clears throat> gals, girls, transvestites, transsexuals, whichever. Um, and these, this coach's jacket comes in burgundy, black, sort of an orange, white and navy. And then the next one is the Misty and Jimmy Paulette hoodie this comes in again uh, navy yellow orange gray black and burgundy again I'm not a fan the only thing I do like what they've done on this is they've put the little box logo on the corner now I do like it when they do that especially when they've got a black and white image I've already touched on that I think black and white image with the logo inspired by Barbara Kruger I think is a good thing so I do like the way they did that I kind of wish they'd done that on the Muhammad Ali uh, sweatshirt that I showed you the other day Um, so I do like what they've done there then there's a t-shirt so this is Nan Golden on the t-shirt as a dominatrix so Nan Golden as a dominatrix on the tee again I will put this there um, and then it's got Kim in rhinestone on the T, the next T, and I'll put that there. Um, and then again, Misty and Jimmy in the in the uh, taxi, it would seem. 
And that is that, I think. So it's t-shirts, sweatshirts, a coach's jacket, and the decks. Nyeh. Sorry. Can't, it's just not me. It's just not me, I'm afraid. Um, possibly, I mean, not really, really into sort of dominatrix dominatrixy things it's just you know i love sort of like the street art aspect of it i like the fact it's a new york sort of photographer you know documenting but i i do think there's there's things you could do documenting documenting new york in it just could have been so different but obviously this was nan golding's thing she was into that kind of thing and you know what good for her that's all I have to say on that. Good for her. Let me know, as I say in the comments, what do you think of that? Nyeh, not my thing, not my cup of tea, but I am looking forward to seeing the rest of the drop this week. Um, as I say, thank you again. I'm still really excited by, by the fact that I've reached 100 subs. It's so good. Um, also quickly, while I am in what I'm now gonna call the mental health room, I thought I'd come in here today because I've not been in here for a while. I still do have a few bits left, still have a few of these left. Um, let me know if any of you guys want these. Um, if you do win the giveaway, I can also include those if you want those. I've still got a few of these cards left. <clears throat> so let me know in the comments if you would like me to pop a few of those in there with it. If you don't win, of course, you are still entitled to some of this. Just let me know in, in a DM or email or whatever. Um, also, feel free to email me if you just want to chat, if you just want to, you know, um, whatever. I am open to all that sort of thing. So, yeah, drop me an email. Um, I am toying with the P.O. box, but to be quite honest, they are really bloody expensive. So if you did want to, um, you know, write an old fashioned letter or whatever, drop me um, an email and I will give you my address. Just, yeah, because it would be nice to get old fashioned letters. How exciting would that be? Uh, so yeah, do do, do that if you are interested. Um, other than that, thank you ever so much. I still can't get over it. I. Oh, appreciate you so much. I am considering doing uh, maybe another giveaway when I get to 500. Let me know if you would like to see something like that. Um, or might just leave it till a thousand. Who knows? But let me know if it would interest you, that kind of thing. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Keep them coming. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep sharing. And all about that, we'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.